Oh, he's smooching us. <gasps> he's gonna initiate the first kiss, guys. Oh my god. Yes, clap, bitches. Clap. Congrats, Mido. This is her first, first, first kiss, by the way. She has never kissed anyone before in her whole entire life. Congrats. It is with this super cute guy. I love it. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to yet another episode of Let's Play The Sims 3 University. Oh boy, where do I begin with this episode's recap? So, in the last episode, um, I had Sunshine and Shay get together as boyfriend and girlfriend. Now, I just went ahead, I did a couple of deeper conversations prompts just to, you know, get their relationship up a little bit, and this bitch, she takes it upon herself to fucking try for a baby with Shay. So, <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna have her do because she's probably definitely pregnant and the 75% chance is uh, quite high. So she's probably pregnant. I still don't know what I'm gonna do with her and Shay's baby in the future. I, I don't know. Tell me what should I do with Sunshine and Shay's baby? Should I have her mom raise it? Should I give it to a random townie? in Riverview as though she gave it for up for adoption that's probably what I'll end up doing to be honest so let me know in the comments guys it was it, it was it was insane also all of our sims got their nice fall slash winter makeovers I do this every spring and fall I give everyone a makeover so here is Kennedy's lovely outfit very very cute Lee's outfit was very much so of the same that he has already had I just put a little hoodie on him. Sunshine's was more of the Sims 3 University clothing. Oh, are they not getting along up here? <gasps> oh, they're not getting along up here. Are they going to be have like a 24 hour relationship? Is that what I'm sensing? Oh my God. They're, they're, having, they're having drama already, guys. They are having, they are serving us drama and tea. She got pregnant with this guy's baby and they're already going to break up. That's kind of iconic. And then last but not least, obviously we had Meadow too. We gave her a makeover. She's currently in a rabbit hole with Eddie, who is the guy that she has been talking to for quite a while here he is single they are just good friends though i'm or sorry best friends wow they are really high up aren't they and i don't tend to take my sims relationships slowly but i thought this time around since we're obviously not dealing with like babies we can take things slowly because there's nothing to rush for i mean they're still in university so we have lots of time oh my god what is that oh, oh the spikes on his clothing just triggered my tryptophobia oh my god i hated that anyway i'm gonna send these two both home i think what is his major he's an art major isn't he i don't even know it doesn't tell me what his major is i guess we'll have to ask him right but we can have them go ahead and do like a little study group that would be so cute so i'm gonna have her head on home they're gonna do like a little study group thingy i'm gonna have her make a little bit of dinner kennedy is over here she's wasted she's drunk i don't know why she's over at she's not even at a bar she's in the fucking student union building and this bitch is drunk off her ass so i'm gonna have her head on home hopefully she's gonna call a taxi and will not be driving i don't know if the game will recognize that she's drunk though so uh psa to my audience please 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 do not drink and drive i mean i would hope you all would be smart enough to know that already so i'm going to have meadow go ahead and drink a little bit of a latte honestly it's 1 42 in the morning right now when i'm recording this um but i could also use a fucking latte right now so that would be really nice if i could uh have one of these nice expensive espresso machines i would really like that thank you obviously i don't have one which is quite sad but anyway oh here is uh sunshine's new outfit i really like her outfit i gave her the university hoodie the kind of like varsity letterman jacket and then she has a little bit of ponder moment happening and some ripped jeans her outfit's really cute actually i like it the university clothing as i already was talking about in the last episode is actually really good clothing like i like it a lot kennedy's really hungry so i'm gonna have her go eat some grilled cheese anyway once meadow is done drinking her coffee over here we're probably going to have her and eddie do like a little bit of a study group i think that'd be really cute and then maybe like as they're studying they go in they kind of lean in they kiss each other i don't know i just think that would be so adorable look at my meadow she's so beautiful i talked about this when i gave this to her but i also have an ear piercing like this and my cartilage mine's a little bit higher up uh than meadows is but i love this piercing like if anyone wants to make their ears look super cute get a cartilage piercing especially with a ring in it like she has i also have a ring in my cartilage piercing but it cost me like 70 dollars to get done at claire's um in addition to my bbl that i got at claire's anyway everyone here in the the kitchen is just chowing down on some food i'm gonna have sunshine go upstairs and go and head to bed she did i don't remember her going to class oh yeah she went to class today she was like super tired and was not in a good mood i am going to have meadow go ahead and study with groups so she's gonna come over here and study with eddie i'm so sorry eddie this kitchen is a disaster our neighborhood mom kennedy has to go and repair the uh the kitchen sink are these two gonna study or what are they what are they doing why are you guys not why are you guys standing up and not 
What? You're so you're so weird. What is he doing? Wait, they're not gonna study together. They're gonna just study in the same room. Like, what? That's so strange. Why would they just study in the same room? I thought they would like gather in a circle. You guys know when like teenagers do homework together in The Sims 2? I thought that's like what it would be, but I guess not. Uh, very strange how they're like just studying in the same room. They're not even talking to each other. It looks like Lee has gone ahead and went to bed super duper early. It's not even 11 p.m. yet and he's already in bed. I guess he's might be a little bit bitter because Sunshine brought this guy into their house and obviously this is like her new boyfriend and Lee's like her ex. So it's a bit of a, it's a bit of a scandalous situation. Did someone break the shower too? How is that possible? No, Meadow went ahead and broke the toilet. Thank you for that, Meadow. I really appreciate it. Go get your stinky ass in the shower, please. You need to study with with your future man husband um, before you get too tired, please. And thank you. I don't know what we're gonna have Kennedy do. She's kind of just like a wild card. I just do whatever I want with her really. Cause I mean, there isn't much like dedicated stuff for her to do. We can have her write and like work on her books, I guess. I'll have her continue writing her little romance novel that she wanted to write. So Meadow just got done in the shower. We are going to have, I feel like we should maybe have her and Eddie, I want to do something cute and like romantic. And then it kind of like turns into like their first kiss. I don't know. Like having them study, I feel like would be really adorable. I hate how they're just going to study in the same room. This is so strange. <laughs> This is like so anticlimactic. I thought they would go in like a little circle and like talk to each other as they study, but I guess that's not what they're gonna go and do. They're just gonna sit next to each other in the same room. Kennedy's taking advantage of this time when Meadow's not in her room to go ahead and continue writing her novel that she's been writing for a while. It's her ode to her girlfriend, Sophie, which by the way, we haven't seen Sophie in a while. She's still kicking. She's still kicking around in town. I don't know what she's doing. She's chilling though. Maybe we should have Kennedy. I don't want Kennedy to cheat. I really feel like she would not cheat. I feel like she's very dedicated to like the person that she's currently dating but i don't see her and sophie as like end game they honestly haven't talked in a while so maybe we can have her find someone new maybe there's like another lesbian on campus that we can hang out with i don't know i'm gonna have meadow stop studying um we're gonna pretend like they were just talking that entire time and that they were just sitting right next to each other in the same room <laughs> and we're gonna have her get up from the chair and we're gonna have her start to flirt with mr eddie so my head canon is like they were just you know talking they were like hanging over their books and then and things started to get a little bit flirty. The conversation started to kind of like derail into like, you know, the subtext. There was a lot of sexual tension. We'll say it like that, right? We'll say there was a lot of sexual tension. Eddie, get your ass up, dude. I'm trying to have this cute girl flirt with you, please. I really appreciate that. Get off your fucking computer, dude. What are you doing? Why are you on the computer? I'm trying to flirt with you. Here we go. Okay. So yeah, he's clearly very into it. He's also single right now. So this is like a perfect time to kind of swoop in. He's had like so many ex-girlfriends. Oh, okay. He's already saying great news the coin toss came up heads we're going out all right well that's nice oh he's smooching us <gasps> he's gonna initiate the first kiss guys oh my god yes clap bitches clap congrats Meadow. this is her first 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 kiss by the way she has never kissed anyone before in her whole entire life congrats it is with this super cute guy i love it we're gonna have her ask him if he wants to spend the night obviously he's gonna say yes and we're gonna have them go and do like a little embrace here and now they're romantic interest okay once again i'm not gonna have them rush anything they're not gonna woohoo or anything like that yet 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 okay it will happen down the line um but yeah there's no reason to rush anything we have a bunch more episodes to go through here at university and i'm taking this time to take my sims relationship super slow okay kennedy it's your sign to get out girl get out get out get out get out get out get out this is super weird if you're sitting in here while, while they're sleeping and she broke up the computer what is it with breaking stuff okay quick before you gotta run out of this room because it would be awkward if you were to stay in here i'm gonna have her quickly recombobulate the broken device i'm so glad that aliens could do this oh my god he's in his briefs as kennedy's in here what is that i'm sorry you had to see that that must be that's gonna be very awkward in a couple years when they end up getting married and you've seen his ass in briefs okay my poor kennedy i just make her clean everything during the nighttime honestly that's what i do when i like make that giant video cut and it's like suddenly daytime that is what I, that's what i have her do is i just have her clean everything hey i mean someone's gonna clean the house and she doesn't have to sleep at night because she's an alien so might as well i am actually going to have her listen to a, a charisma tab cast because that's what she needs for her degree she needs charisma skill because she's in the business so she's got to do a lot of talking tell me how a business degree correlates to getting a boost in the education field in the sims 3 i don't know i think they kind of like threw shit at the wall and whatever stuck they used in the sims 3 like the fucking degrees don't even correlate to what the actual job is but that's fine they didn't really want to make a lot of degrees i don't know why maybe it's because like the classes in the sims 3 are a little bit more detailed than they were in the sims 2 especially with like this whole thing because in the sims 2 you literally 
have one class from the same time every single day whereas in the sims 3 obviously it's like a very rigorous very detailed sort of class schedule where you have like different classes every single day she's also doing all this cleaning by the way when she's drunk which i think is funny as fuck that she's fucking cleaning the house maybe this is like her drunk tick as she just cleans everything that is that is what kennedy does when she is wasted off her ass when she's done cleaning everything i'm gonna have her go upstairs to her brother's bedroom and continue writing the book it looks like he just woke up i don't know why oh, dude no why are you fucking fishing at 4 a.m you're so weird this is what fishermen do don't they this is what time they fish this is totally what time fishers fish i don't know why, why fish would want to be up at four in the morning like why why guys he's gonna be so tired he's literally out here shirtless just fishing off the dock can you guys imagine if you were his neighbor my ass would be peering through my blinds like literally every five minutes like oh my god this really hot guy just like wow we're gonna pretend we're these people living up here all right we're gonna pretend we can get like a nice angle on him whoever's living in this bedroom is very very lucky because they get to see lee fishing shirtless at four in the morning look at that guys this is this is pure this is bliss this is pure bliss. why does he look naked um why can i see his butt crack from here uh i don't know oh my god oh my god oh my god meadow and eddie were just cuddling did you guys see that <laughs> oh my god my heart is melting that was that was really cute that was actually really really cute okay so she has to get up right now she has a lecture at 8 a.m so she's her ass has got to go out that door right now it is wednesday so yeah she has an 8 a.m and then a 12 p.m and then maybe her and eddie can hang out tonight too because she also wants to have another date with him so i'm gonna have her go ahead and just lock that one in we'll we'll, we'll cancel out that nerd group wish and i'm gonna have her put in a gardening tab cast as she's kind of navigating her morning we'll have her go downstairs and get a little bit of breakfast going does anyone else i don't think anyone else has a lecture soon do they why why lee why do you do this he's standing outside doing this too so once again the neighbors they get a nice show of lee um playing with his nice skeleton out here yeah good job buddy i don't know if kennedy yeah kennedy actually does have class too so i'm gonna have her quickly use the bathroom and then they will all leave at oh they're gonna leave right now okay i was gonna have her get a little bit of breakfast before she goes off to class but i don't know if we're gonna have time to be honest it's looking like we're not gonna have time i hope she does though she has to wolf down some uh french toast here all right quickly go you're not gonna be able to finish that maybe your brother can go and put that back in the fridge that's so that's that's actually sickening that her brother is gonna go and put her leftover food in the fridge after she's already chewed on it and chomped on it i'm i'm sick to the stomach at that thought of that as far as lee's day goes i don't know what i'm gonna have him do he wants to learn a new recipe oh eddie also has class so he's gonna he's gonna bounce he's 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 dipping from us which is fine if you have class you got class i'm gonna also gonna have lee get the mail maybe he'll have like a little love letter my hope is maybe he has like a love letter from gabby or something like that that'd be nice or someone else just like any romantic prospect would be nice for him to have oh my god this is awkward oh she wants to call mohammed oh my god mohammed is the guy that completely collapsed lee and sunshine's relationship by flirting with her and now she also wants to call him so that's really great i'm gonna have her do that i have wants face play style so if she wants to cheat on shay then she will cheat on shay i think Sh shay would also cheat on her to be honest if i'm if like to, if i think about it oh my god bitch you're screaming in my ears get the fuck out of me he got something in his inventory i don't know what it was i had him go and get the mail but it didn't tell me what it was like i didn't get any notification i don't think lee is raking leaves this is how bored this kid is he is raking leaves everybody why don't you go upstairs and go and work out actually let's have him go ahead and utilize the gym that i placed on a couple episodes ago that took me forever to figure out where the ticket machine is from the sims 3 store my god and also yes you guys don't have to tell me i know that there is this gym too um i am also going to replace this gym with this one i have to set it up i still haven't set it up so leave me alone okay as long as we're going to gym is fine kennedy has received 11 simoleons from oscar diller to support the being overshadowed in a non-generational family blog why is that name so funny like i didn't mean to name it that but that is actually really funny now that it's like put out like that i like that a lot actually okay so lee's currently here he obviously can't get in to the gym yet because he has to go ahead and buy a ticket so only allows yellow ticket holders so he has to go over here he's got to buy a yellow ticket 
and this is how i do my gym membership like this is this is basically what i do so he will now be able to enter oh he actually got it for free isn't that great because he's a celebrity hey i feel like that's actually kind of accurate that they would really they really would probably let him pass free uh because you know he's he's from a very esteemed family here in the here in sim nation so he's gonna go ahead and work out he's gonna have a nice pump a nice workout does he have a tab casting currently he does so he's gonna he's gonna get another handiness skill i think in like three minutes or so maybe not no okay he didn't get any handiness skill cool all right well how go ahead and listen to a handiness tab cast dude you know you don't gotta you don't gotta have me wait oh all these sims are trying to get in that's so funny hey look at them all buying tickets that's nice i like the idea of like a gym membership i think it just it just makes sense dude it just makes sense oh he's also about to complete his celebrity opportunity which i think he'll get like a lot of money for that damn i thought these guys were gonna be super poor um which makes sense because they're college students but oh he didn't get any money from that celebrity opportunity okay never mind them like i was saying i thought these guys were gonna be like super duper poor because college students usually are really poor but i i guess i guess not sunshine also wants to go ahead and work out until fatigued i honestly think that she wants to go to the gym and spy on lee i think that's why she got prompted with this wish um she wants to go to the gym and see what her see what her ex is up to you know she wants to make sure he's not staring at any girls butts and yoga pants here at the gym which i feel like he totally fucking would and he would also probably approach them and you know what knowing lee he probably would get their numbers i can just imagine him staring at some butt in yoga pants him getting their number and him sliding into the dms i can totally see it makes sense to me makes sense to me anyway he has class in two hours what time does he have class it's at 12 right yes yeah, at 12 so i'm gonna have him go ahead and go and take a little bit of a shower before he has to go and head off where where's the men's is this the men's shower up here no that's the women's okay so the men's shower is on the bottom floor of course the men get the convenience am i right am i right so sunshine over here oh never mind she's not gonna be able to work out she has to go to class i totally thought okay well she just wanted to peek in on him she wanted to make sure you know she wanted to see him in the shower i feel like is what is what just happened there all right so lee has to go to class i'm gonna cut his shower a little bit short unfortunately he's not gonna be able to have a full shower but at least his energy like isn't in the yellow or the red or anything like that so he'll be okay all about our other girlies what are they doing so kennedy has class in six hours she can head on home and then yeah meadow has class after class which really sucks i think i have the same thing next semester i also have like double glasses right after each other which is so annoying i have like a 20 minute grace period where i can go and get like food or whatever but more than that it really it's not that's not fun i think one class ends at 2 10 and then my next one's at 2 30 so quite literally have to like book it to get some food or something and they're long classes too guys they're fucking long classes which sucks even more kennedy has just rolled up in her limo she's finally home i'm gonna have her pop in a oh my god what's how cash she gonna listen to now uh charisma i guess charisma's fine and then we'll have her go upstairs and let's have her do a little bit of writing on lee's computer she's gonna continue to write her love book um she's almost done with it which is actually really nice and i did want her to go ahead and read the comics that she has in her inventory so i think she still has to read super cute girl maya which is so funny i think i said this before but this reminds me of like lolly sort of stuff like i feel like that's what it would be and probably be right up kennedy's alley i feel like she'd be really into like manga and that sort of thing oh and she's about to finish her romance book i think yes maybe maybe not maybe not maybe oh oh she's so close guys she's so close oh there it is there it is she wrote her romance novel so it says those in love with love should check out kennedy's latest book a time for love it's a 796 page story 796 page is she fucking writing harry potter it's a 796 page story of love found when it was least expected which i feel like is so soothing because she really was not expecting to obviously meet her girlfriend sophie and then they fell in love and now they're together which i feel like is so fitting i feel like this novel is perfectly timed in her life you know she has her first love so she you know she writes a little romance novel it's nice she's gonna go ahead and eat some cheesy bread that she made or cheesy pizza extra cheesy pizza which looks very good i like that i hope all my sims are in class i haven't even been paying attention to them oh my god meadow is so tired because she went on that date last night with eddie she's she's not she's not thriving right now she's not and we're gonna have kennedy go and do a little bit of blogging i can't stop looking at her butt swaying in those pants it's just so big we're gonna do a little bit of blogging here oh the last blog that she did they did not like her followers did not like that let me, let's take a little look at that so it was called when i close my eyes all i see is playing hooky from work and lost two followers so she currently has 105 blog followers so we're gonna do another blog it says the truth is all that time we spent together i was thinking about adventures beneath the sheets kennedy <laughs> are you okay 
okay and it gained four followers that's so sad all it gained was four followers oh and lee's publicly disgraced wow nice surprise surprise i don't think so so i guess this is going to be a very gym oriented episode um because she also wants to go ahead and work out for four hours at the gym so we're gonna ever go and head over to mr crunch's fitness she's gonna have to get a little bit of a ticket but she is even able to get in there sunshine's professor just said i'm so glad you're coming to class sunshine if you really put in some extra effort you could succeed um how is her grades currently? I mean, they're not actually that bad. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. They're really not that bad. She needs some food though. She's super duper hungry. So I wonder if we can have her maybe go over to the student union building and buy like a candy bar or something. She just needs, she needs a quick snack. Poor Meadow is asleep currently on a bench, which I'm I'm sorry about that, Meadow. I know you're tired. I'm gonna have you go home and nap. Don't worry. Lee's doing super good in class. He's fucking on the Dean's list. Like he's just really, he's doing, he's just doing good for himself. And I'm happy about that. You know, he he's recovering from his breakup with elegance he may have had an awful emotional time sunshine broke his heart but i'm glad that he is finally he's finally coming together he's finally recovering from it so i'm very happy about that i'm gonna have sunshine come up here and she is going to buy um not candy i don't want candy i guess that's the only thing we can buy isn't it yeah we have to buy candy so she's gonna go buy candy even though she's probably gonna get sick from it not even gonna lie oh wow i was gonna send kennedy to the gym and she has class okay well that was a failure all right quickly come on sunshine you gotta go to class go and eat your candy bar i didn't and see what that one was called what was that one does she like it does she like it i don't know oh wait i think she has a stomach ache oh no she has sugar rush that's nice okay some of the ones you get a you get a nice moonlit from some of them make your sims sick i don't know which one sims like i have no idea anyway back here at home uh meadow is chugging some triple strawberry non-fat latte with white chocolate whipped cream which sounds good to be honest with you but i don't know why she's doing that Well, she could just come upstairs and take a nap i i don't know also this murphy bed i think eddie put it up oh my god eddie are you trying to rig this murphy bed against the meadow if you guys don't know in the sims um sims can notoriously die from murphy beds which yeah i don't know why he would put it down in the first place i i think he just really he really just wants her to die and if she die i don't know what i fucking would do i don't know what i would do please meadow please please don't die please don't die oh my god oh my god slowly yes okay thank you thank you very much oh she can't because she's buzzed okay so i just did that for no reason i just risked my poor girl's life for no reason okay good job maddie so meadow is about to crash in 53 minutes and i actually wanted her and eddie to go on a date tonight so what we're gonna do she may be super tired she's gonna quickly ask eddie out on a date i don't know if she's gonna be able to i actually did just set up the university bar and grill so it has a really um i think what is a, a funny menu i thought that the university bar and grill like obviously this is a university town the, the menu is gonna be super simple it's gonna be super basic oh and eddie says he's not interested wow okay we're gonna give him a little bit of a call and then we're gonna try that again i'm kind of annoyed why is he being an asshole i i have no idea but kennedy lee and sunshine are all out of class now i'm gonna have meadow try one more time to phone eddie i really hope he's not being like uh hard to get like he's, he's playing hard to get i really hope he's not and he will just let us ha ask him out on a date please all right stop talking to him we're gonna quickly ask him out she her buzz crashes in 20 minutes she's super tired she's having a super long day she just wants to go on a little bit of a date with eddie please say yes please say yes eddie come on come on i believe in you we're all rooting for you oh okay yes he says yes okay so he just needed a little bit of convincing he needed a little bit of buttering up so she's gonna rush her ass over there she's gonna quickly you know book it everyone is now home so i'm gonna have all of them they're just gonna stay in for the night and just chill do like a little bit of uh homework maybe or something like that you know for being university students these guys really have no homework at all compared to what i have to deal with on a nightly basis <laughs> oh no her buzz has crashed oh she's exhausted guys she's gonna pass out at this place i have a feeling okay so here we are at the university bar and grill um i think this is just like a such a fun place to be i don't know it just feels like the atmosphere is just amazing i love it so much so we are going to come over here and we are going to ask eddie to dine this is annie's business as unusual bistro the sims 3 store kind of left it in like a really rough situation and you can't actually dine with other sims um with the you know the normal business as usual bistro from the sims 3 store so this makes it really nice and functional and lovely so i'm gonna have meadow come on over she's gonna go take a little seat with eddie they're gonna have their nice little like, little date moment she's gonna literally pass out on the fucking ground i'm telling you guys right now dude sit down sit your ass down why are you standing up 
Oh, okay. I think I forgot to have the base object installed. So now it's just fucking bugged out. All right. My ass fucking thought that this would work. Okay, cool. Love that for me. All right, Eddie, uh, sweetheart, let's just not do that right now. We're gonna actually go over here and just buy like a little food from this guy here. She needs a coffee, if anything. Like she needs to, she needs another caffeine boost. Oh, and Eddie just got reset he's he's a script error guys he just got reset okay so he just dips that's lovely good job maddie hey she literally sat at the table that we were gonna sit at oh my god eat your food eat your food before someone takes it come on meadow don't let someone else take that shit get up get up oh my god get bitch get your ass if you don't get your ass up right now and claim your fucking cheese danish i'm gonna lose my shit okay so all the sims oh my god these poor sims that are trying to eat here i feel so bad they're just, literally just getting reset because i don't have the base object installed so what is happening is i forgot to install the sims Street store business as usual bistro um so because this mod object doesn't have that to rely on there's like no base object it's literally just resetting my sims okay so that was a complete and utter fail we're just gonna pretend that meadow you know she wanted a quick danish she didn't um invite eddie out at all no eddie eddie did not grace our presence this episode no just in the beginning when they were sleeping in the same bed together look at my girl she's in here a little cheese danish alone she's so cute i love meadow her bangs she looks so cute with bangs like i might have to just give her bangs from now on because i just think that she's so adorable with them all right go and head on home i know you're super exhausted this is this is not this is not it oh my god sunshine wants to watch the stars with lee she is back on that lee hype train ignore this dirty disgusting toilet in the background um that someone clearly fucking exploded in but wow she wants to get back with lee as she already has a boyfriend too she's only dating shay right now she already wants to get back you know what actually let's let's have her call muhammad because she wanted to talk to him i don't know why i literally can't talk to him like it, it won't let me give him a call i don't know if he's still in the world or if he like got bugged or something like that we might just have to go into enros and just reset him because i i literally cannot talk to him at all so i can't find muhammad in town i i don't know if he maybe already graduated or I, don't, I have no idea i i don't i can't explain that to you we're just gonna i don't know i she wanted to call him i don't know what to do maybe just exit that out and lock in the one to watch the stars with lee i can't believe she got that like right now you know after she just broke that poor kid's heart upstairs she wants to fucking go back in the rat race with him and watch the stars with him and continue to break his heart and just shatter him as a person i can't believe that she is actually a unbelievable she has no morals she has no morals at all and i honestly feel bad for these sims i i truly truly do i don't know what my sims are gonna do tonight oh someone broke something what did what did someone break it looks like sunshine broke the upstairs toilet so i am going to have kennedy age you know she's got to repair everyone's problems yeah you want to go and repair that she literally got a wish to repair it i love using that little alien repair it's so so good and then we'll have her go ahead and just restore her brain power she's she's getting a little bit tired so we'll have her go and do that when all her siblings are fast asleep oh she's just gonna restore her brain power in lee's room that's not creepy at all i'm sure you know he's gonna jolt up out of his sleep tonight and just hear this weird sound and just see his his sister doing this in his fucking room what is that oh my god not this face i i i i i don't know what to say about this thing so kennedy just woke up from doing her uh brain power restoring and she has a opportunity to work out for four hours now i was like what am i gonna have her do all night well guess what the gym is open 24 hours so might as well have her go over there right now obviously kennedy does not go off of the normal energy that sims go off of because she is an alien so we're gonna have her go over to the gym she's gonna buy her little ticket her little yellow ticket to get in her 24 hour gym pass oh my god look at her butt in those pants i can't stop staring she just like looked at me a little bit there that was that was fucking freaky anyway lee is still fast asleep everyone everyone is still asleep basically there's no waking them up right now they're like they're in that like deep sort of hypnosis sort of sleep the rem sleep is what they call it <gasps> girlfriend eddie and tammy eddie is such a player oh my god i'm glad that they weren't like officially dating poor meadow man she is gonna be absolutely heartbroken that her guy is um well yeah the guy the guy that she her first ever kiss her first love is literally cheating on her 
Yeah, I mean, is he really even cheating though? Because uh, to be honest, they aren't steady or anything like that. So technically he can, oh my God, her umbrella's busted up. Technically, I guess he can like see whoever he wants because they aren't official. But at the same time, it like rubs me in the wrong way a little bit. It's a little weird. It's definitely a little weird. I feel like you should have a little bit more respect towards Meadow concerning, I feel like he would know that that is, you know, her first, like he's her first kiss, her gonna be her first time, her first boyfriend, so on and so forth. I don't know. I feel like it, on one hand, it's like story progression kind of playing us. On the other hand, I'm kind of understanding of why story progression's playing around with me like this. I don't know what we're gonna have Lee do. I, his his sleep schedule is honestly so messed up. This bed from Showtime right here, I'm gonna show you guys something. So I learned a very, very long time ago that this bed from Showtime is literally the best buy you can ever get in this game. So look how much energy this gives for 560 simoleons. Like I want you guys to pay attention. 560 simoleons for energy seven, okay? Now look at this. The bed, which is, you know, only a $15 price difference gives energy four. So this double bed right here is like a giant wild card, okay? It's crazy. Yet another double bed from base game, 650 simoleons. So, you know, 100 some millions more and it only gives energy for why does this showtime bed that's so inexpensive but really cute why does it give so much energy i don't know i don't know i feel like they kind of messed up putting that bed in the game because it's just so overpowered for real it's also spooky day here in game so lee wants to throw a costume party Ooh, that could be fun for the next episode that, that that could be really interesting actually maybe we should actually do that here we haven't thrown a party since the bonfire party last week so you know for for college students it's been an entire week that's a pretty long time for a bunch of college kids not to throw a party so maybe you know maybe we will have lee throw a party i'm gonna lock that in just for him but other than that we do have class today so everyone has class in a couple of hours lee has class in seven sunshine has class in three she just got up to i'm gonna have her go and take a shower i still can't believe that this girl's pregnant like i i i, I can't wrap my mind around the fact that she is i mean we don't know for sure okay let me let me phrase it that way we do not know for sure yet um but i have a very strong suspicion because there's a 75 percent chance that sims can get pregnant when they do a try for baby in my game so it is a it is an extremely high chance i'm not gonna lie to you guys over here at the gym kennedy is raising her skill her athletic skill actually really fast so i'm gonna have her continue to listen um to to the charisma tap cast just to kill two birds with one stone here and eddie mullis was mucho creeped out when he caught former lover mika moore hanging around his house earlier i think mika needs to get herself a life or a hobby or anything to keep her off my property dude eddie has fangirls eddie has fangirls i mean look at him i'm honestly not surprised that he has fangirls that's that that would be very evident it makes sense it does definitely make sense so i believe oh my god i forgot that meadow has class this morning so she didn't get to eat before she's gonna head off to class i'm so sorry meadow and i know she has a really long day today just class after class today so i i messed up okay i admit it i messed up not having her go ahead and eat before she left but you know she's off she's gonna go to class i'm also gonna have lee continue to work out he's got to do a couple of chin-ups i'm gonna have him push himself just so that he doesn't take so long to finish getting his skill oh wait he needs to put in the tab cast let's have him do a fishing tab cast because i want him to be level 10 in fishing because his that's his thing he's like loved fishing ever since he was a little kid we have like videos from way back in the day and i have a photo actually a screenshot of lee fishing when he was a little child like he has loved fishing for a very long time sunshine at her lecture she's supposed to be taking some notes but of course she's sleeping through it so i'm gonna have her wake up sunshine get your ass up here girl you gotta uh ask a question you gotta get a good education vacation here you're gonna need it you're gonna you're about to be a, a single mother of two children here soon <laughs> we definitely need to have her uh pay attention get good grades and get her education on oh meta just got some science skill from boning up on anatomy i think she's at class i think she has like one of those active classes right now yes yeah, she does so she's over here it says so many plants so little time meta now understands science enough to analyze plants look in her inventory for a plant to analyze we definitely need to have her go over to the student union building soon and analyze lies um some more samples that's like a really gonna be a really big plot point for meadow in this uh lepisy to have her make her own plant sim obviously that's like gonna be one of her big things so we gotta definitely have her work more towards that what is happening with these sims over here tiffany and leonard a couple of episodes ago it was like patty and the other guy i forget his name um now it's tiffany and leonard i i don't know what's happening with them oh my god 
Okay. I think Raj was in a romantic relationship with Tiffany because he just got mad at her for flirting with that guy. <gasps> drama. Oh my God, drama. Is this guy involved in the fucking relationship too? I'm so confused. Like everyone keeps walking by her and is mad at her. Anyways, guys, I am going to end this episode right here. I hope you did all enjoy. Lots of drama is happening here on campus. It's just starting to heat up. Meadow is getting her first relationship troubles and she's now romantic interested with eddie so i don't know where that is going to go i honestly don't know if meadow would like mind being the other woman i, I don't i don't think she would honestly care i'm not saying that she's a homewrecker well i guess i would imply that she's a homewrecker huh hmm, i don't know <laughs> now i'm torn anyways guys i do hope you all enjoyed i will catch you all in the next episode and peace out